So the French Open just about to begin. We have some big names that are pulled out. Of course, we already know the biggest name of all, Rafa Nadal, not playing this event, but we have some last minute withdrawals as well for some players that have actually been in some good form. So let's go have a check who else has pulled out before the French Open. Before we get into the video, let me talk about today's sponsor, NordVPN. NordVPN is the most popular virtual private network going around with the French Open only a couple of days away. It's a great way to watch the French Open and all the biggest matches from the tournament for free. One of the questions I get asked the most during the live streams is where can I watch the match? And that's where NordVPN comes handy. All you got to do to watch the French Open this year is set your location to Australia, go to one of the broadcasters in Australia, for example, Channel 9, and be able to watch all the matches over there for free for the entire tournament. NordVPN offers a 30-day money-back guarantee on all purchases. Threat protection is a security solution designed to defend you from everyday online cyber threats like malware and trackers. It scans your files while you're downloading them, identifies threats, and blocks them before they can harm your device. And if you use our link down in the description and get a two-year plan, you'll get four months absolutely free. So click our link down below, nordvpn.com slash tennis talk to take advantage of this offer. So don't miss a minute of the French Open action that's coming up in the next couple of weeks. Jump on NordVPN today and start watching the matches. Thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Starting with the WTA, Simona Halep, she's pulled out. Van Udvank, and this move has also pulled out. Rodokanu has also pulled out. Savile also pulled out. Brady. Tomanovic has just pulled out. Still recovering from knee surgery. And Bedosa. Probably the biggest shock on the WTA side. Considering she was just starting to climb up the ranks again, she has also pulled out with injury. So, some Grand Slam champions and former Grand Slam finalists. And also a couple of players in form that are not going to be playing at this year's French Open for the ladies. Jumping over to the men's side of things. Brooksby. He's still out. Quan also pulling out. Kyrgios, of course, not coming back to the French Open this year due to injury. Nadal, of course, pulling out. The biggest name on the men's side. Carino Busta, Chilich, Berrettini has also pulled out. Andy Murray's pulled out to focus on Wimbledon. Garen's pulled out, which is a shame because he's been pretty good on the clay over the last couple of years, so he's had to pull out, unfortunately. Edmonds also pulled out, and Shardy has also pulled out of the event. So some new names there that are pulled out. And just like on the women's side, a couple of names that have been pretty decent on the clay leading into the French Open. Let's talk about some of the players that are actually going in with an injury cloud over their head or maybe even coming back from injury for the first time. Started with Belinda Bencic. She hasn't played for a couple of months skip two of the most important tournaments of the clay season to come to this event so she might be over her injuries but hasn't played that much so definitely keep an eye on her in the first couple of days. Iga Swiatek, of course having to retire in Rome has said in press conferences that her leg is feeling better and better every day but still worth a look in that first round especially to see how healthy she looks. Trevison is also coming in with an injury cloud but after pulling out of last week's event in Morocco so she has a semi-final to defend at the French Open. Definitely keep an eye on her and Felix Ogeliasim he withdrew from a tournament last week in Leon against Feast. So not sure what's going on with Felix. And Felix hasn't been in good form. So someone to watch out for in the first rounds, especially if he does have some sort of an injury. There you have it. That is the latest withdrawal list. And of course, Rafa Nadal being the biggest one of those that we're going to miss this year. But also Paula Bedosa pulling out is a bit of a shock because of course, she pulled out last minute at the Australian Open as well. So that's the second Grand Slam in a row that she's missed. And it's really a shame because she was just starting to climb up the ranks. She has some good wins over the first couple of tournaments and made some, you know, quarterfinals, semifinals of those events. Unfortunately, won't be able to play at the French Open, but hopefully we'll get her back for Wimbledon uh, in a couple of weeks after the French. But let me know down in the comments below who you're going to miss the most at this year's French Open. I know Raf is going to be the popular answer, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to miss Paula Bedosa. Like I said, was in good form coming into this event, but that is the latest withdrawal list ahead of the French Open starting soon.